Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com and this is another video on the C programming language. If you hear a bird in the background, that's my cocktail Wally who's hanging out above my desk. Um, but basically today I want to talk about pointers, okay? I remember when I was first studying computer science, like basically a little background story on me. Um, when I was younger, I wanted to be a coder um, and I, went to, I did like a, a semester of computer science. Then I switched majors and really didn't... I dabbled, I would crack open my C++ book every few years, but I was kind of in finance and education, uh, in politics, a whole bunch of other things for the, a decade. And then I came back to coding in 2019, I spent a lot of time with JavaScript, Python, and Ruby. Um, and right now I'm going back to like C, C++, Java, all these things. Okay, and spent some time with Go, spent some time with Rust, and spent some time with some functional languages, just really immersing myself in the programming world. So I remember when I first learned pointers were sort of like back in that semester of computer science, pointers were one of those things that really, really took me for a loop conceptually. So hopefully I can explain this in a way that makes this a little bit uh, easier to understand. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new file. Okay, a uh, new file, we're gonna call this pointers.c. Okay, I'm gonna just copy from one of these other files. Workflow, and then just make sure that I change this so that way later on when I want to run the file, I can just copy the command pointers. Pointers. So again, GCC, that's the C compiler. I'm saying that the output should come out as pointers from the file pointers.c. And then as a secondary command, I want to run that file pointers. Okay. <clears throat> and that's just there in a the comment so I can run it later on. I'm going to just clear this out. And here we go. So what is a pointer? Okay, so let's do an example. So let's create a variable that is an integer. So let's call this int num, um, and this will say int num equals five. Okay, so that, that's a, a variable that equals the value. So this, this variable equals the value of five. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a variable that's gonna be called num pointer and this is going to be a pointer to num. So the value of this variable isn't the number five. The value of this variable is actually where in the computer's memory does num exist. Okay, so where does this actual, where is this value being stored? Okay, so if I say num pointer equals num, okay, that is going to be um, equal to the pointer, equal to the address of num. Okay, so now I can do this. So let's print these out. So I'm going to print f, put in a string. First, we're going to do the digit. So num is percentage d. That's for a digit. Okay, <coughs> so d, well, we already did that. So then the new line character. Okay, and then we're going to put num where that percentage d is, that digit. Then we'll do another one. I'll just copy paste that and we'll just say num pointer and I want to since I'm interpolating a pointer I'm going to use percentage p for pointer and do num pointer okay so we can see what the value of the variable is so let me copy this command control c copy paste error pointer c no such value. oh I'm in the wrong folder Always forget that I have to go into this folder. Uh, exercises. Okay. Mm, initializing int from int makes pointer from integer without a cast. Okay. So basically, what this is saying is that I'm trying to assign the actual value of num. Okay. So basically, what you have to do when you see this, you need to specify that you're assigning the variable of num. Okay. Or the the, the address. So to grab a variable's address, you use this ampersand. This means the address of the variable, not the variable itself. So let's see if I get a different, uh, a different result. And see, now I actually get the address of num. So that's the actual memory address of where num is. So again, the asterisk means this variable contains a pointer. And num refers to the address of that variable. 
Okay, now where this has become useful, okay, because there's going to be some times where you may want to manipulate a variable from a function. You may want to mutate data. And that doesn't necessarily how functions always work. So let's create a function real quick. So we're going to say called int add one. And add one is going to take one uh, variable. So my first, we'll just do it with an integer, int num. Okay, we'll just call, actually, we'll just say int x. That's going to be the variable. And all it's going to do is return. Um, actually, not even return it. It's not going to return anything. It's just going to say x equals x plus 1. And I think of that. We'll see if that works. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to print f. I'll just copy it from here. Print of x is whatever and x. Okay, so here we're seeing what the value of x is inside the function. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is after we print this, I'm going to invoke that function and pass it num. Okay, I'm passing it num. And I put the asterisk the semicolon there. Let's run this. Okay, and see x is 6 because see we added 1 in the function. So as we see from the output, again, x is 6. Okay, now just to test to show you that technically, even though I passed in num, I didn't actually change num. Let me actually invoke the function before we print these. So we can see, hey, if I change num here and I change it to 6, does it affect this print right here? And it does not. See, x, even though I altered x, when you pass in just the value, so I'm just passing in an integer, it makes a copy of the variable. So I'm not actually manipulating num, I'm manipulating a copy of num. Now let's see I change the variable like this. Okay, so let's say instead I want it to be a pointer to an integer. Okay, so instead I'm passing in the address of num. Okay, now let's see what the result looks like now. Okay, oops, some syntax errors. I remember the type int, but argument has type int. Do, 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 do. Actually, maybe if I, I always get. Okay, so we can add x plus 1. Okay. See, if I change that to a p, though, that's just going to give me the address, but let's just see. Num is 5. Didn't quite have the effect that I won't. giving me at the moment let's see here x so what we want to do is manipulate because see this is points to the value of where num is so what I want to do is use that to manipulate the value I think what I need to do is this. Let's give that a shot. And there we go. Good. Okay. So now I can change this to D again. And then this should be this. So it's basically, I'm not, I'm saying I don't want X, the value of X, because the value of X is the address. I want what the address of X points to. Okay, so I'm saying the value of what x points to is whatever the value of what x points to is now, plus 1. Okay, so then, so watch what happens. Now, even though the change occurred in the function, I'm no longer passing a copy. 
I'm passing a pointer that points to the original num, so even after the function is done, num has been altered. And then that's basically how you alter uh, basically primitive value types, so such as numbers, such as uh, booleans, such as strings, uh, or individual characters. Because arrays, arrays should always be passed as by reference. So if you alter an array passed into a function, you are actually altering the array. But that's kind of the value of pointers. You can have access to things in places where you normally would not have access to them. And that's the beauty of pointers, because <clears throat> you're pointing to the place in memory where it exists, etc. You could also do the same thing with functions. Okay, where <clears throat> you can't really pass a function as an argument, but you can pass a pointer to a function as an argument, and that's kind of how you do like callbacks inside C. Okay, so if you've done JavaScript, you're probably familiar with like callback functions. You could do the same thing, but you would be passing in a pointer to the function that you want to invoke from inside the function. Um, with that, that's a brief lesson on pointers. So again, what's the that's the lesson? Uh, pointers point to a address. So when I declared the variable and I put the asterisk, I'm declaring that this is a pointer type variable. And at the ampersand says, pass in the address of the variable. When I then refer to it, the, when I used the variable with the asterisk, I'm referring to the value of that address in memory, not to the address memory in itself. And this allows me to alter variables that exist outside of a function from within a function. Because normally, if I'm just passing in the value, I'm making a copy of the value when it enters the function. So that's sort of the application. Um, basically, the idea is to pass data between different scopes, and that's, that's the beauty of it. So that's pointers. My name is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. Have a great day and enjoy.